Kicking things off, we continue our recap of the BFI's London Film Festival by touching base with director Rob Brown. Already a renowned short filmmaker, Rob's debut feature, 16, was in competition for the first feature prize. And presenting a new twist on the gritty urban genre, he tells the story of a former child soldier whose experiences draw stark parallels with his new inner city surroundings. Sixteen is an urban thriller about an African former child soldier who's now living in London and he's trying to kind of leave the violence of his past behind him but then he witnesses a stabbing and it drags him back towards what he's been trying to escape um, since he's been in England. I was very keen making the film to kind of avoid all the kind of usual um, stereotypes you have with kind of uh, urban, kind of gritty films. Um, and I think I aim to kind of direct the film kind of in quite a kind of sensitive way. Um, somebody last night at the premiere kind of said that the film has a kind of delicate kind of grace, which is kind of you know what we were going for um, to make the performances quite understated um, and also to not be judgmental as well to kind of let the audience make their own minds up about the characters. I can't believe that, man. I told you if that was any of my mates, I'd f*** up the mat. He ain't your friend. He's not normally like this. Yeah, but that's how it goes. It's when you least expect that people show you their true colours. He can't help it. What are you on about? Where he's from. He's seen things. Done things, even. Like, the war f everyone up there. Even the kids got involved. So it's not his fault what happened, but so the guy know. From the premiere yesterday, um, we had a really fantastic response to the film. Um, myself and Roger and the actors, we were kind of, after the Q&A on the stage for quite a while, with people kind of coming up and saying they loved the film and asking different questions they weren't able to ask during the Q&A. Um, had a kind of lot of interest, um, you know, from my agent as well, and I think I think Roger's going to do fantastically uh, from the film as well. I think he's going to really help launch him even more than he already is. Roger kind of, he's actually from Rwanda rather than the DRC. Um, he kind of survived the Rwandan genocide. Um, so basically, although his story is not exactly similar to, to Juma, I think, you know, there are elements that he can kind of, that he can draw on um, when, you know, when acting in the film. And also he's, um, he, in Africa United, he worked with Emmanuel Jal, who's a former child soldier. So he was able to speak to Emmanuel during his prep as well so you know to really find out about how you know what it feels to be you know a former child soldier how you leave that behind We're really proud to be screening at the London Film Festival. Um, you know, it's a fantastic launch pad for, you know, for filmmakers, especially somebody like myself making a first feature. Um, you know, to be nominated for one award would be amazing, but to be nominated for the Sutherland Award and also, you know, myself, I've been um, nominated for Best British Newcomer as well. You know, it's a real honour um, and, 
yeah, I, I think just the recognition for the people that I've worked with for my team, I think it's you know really great that the film's been recognised. I think the kind of next stage for the production is we're going to be looking at other international festivals, so we'll be looking for a strong kind of US premiere, other festivals in Europe and you know Asia as well. Um, we're looking to secure UK distribution uh, and also getting a sales agent to sell to other countries. Thank you.